Hey everybody, it's Satyrian Leaf Spar, and I'm doing the BJD 2018 end of year tag. So, funny story, I did some research, because I had to for the last video, and I did it for this one as well, because they ask you some numbers and some questions that make you dig around. Last year, when I did the end of year tag, I was late. Like, I didn't upload it until the 14th of January. So here we are again, the 5th of January, keeping up with that consistency. Keyword if you watched the last video. Anyways, so the very first question is to show us your doll family as it looks at the end of the year. So here they are, all of the resin and vinyl crew that I've actually gotten this year. Not this year, but collectively. What I'm what I have wound up with, rather. Sorry if my voice sounds strange. I've been sick for like two weeks now. But this is everybody. Minus some floating heads. I did not bring the floating heads down just because they're way up there and I didn't want to get out the ladder. But these are all the dolls that I have gotten, or have now, that have bodies that are basically complete in the sense of they're complete dolls. So I'm just going to kind of start here and work my way this way. If you're new to the channel, I'll let you know what sculpts they are, and I'll also let you know if I got them this year or if it's part of last year. So this guy here, which is the Impel Doll John Sculpt on a TGB body, I did get him last year. But the little guy down there is an Impel Doll Ives. I got his head and his body separately, but I got them this year. And he is on the baby body that they have. It doesn't have a special name, it's just the baby body. Then right here we have a long soul Zuzu. That was last year. He's sitting on top of the shoulder of an Impel Doll Chad that I purchased from Daniel Vita Plastica. He is formerly known as Dash Grabani. And I haven't given him a name yet. I haven't done a whole lot of work to him yet just because work and life. And then sitting in his lap, you'll see a Harold the Turtle who was sculpted, crafted, and casted by uh, Tiffy BJD Crafts. A friend of mine, I won him at a retreat that I went to this year. Keep going this way. We have got a Impel Doll Aries, also on the TGB body. And this guy was this year, actually. Sitting on his lap is a Long Soul Moon Bunny. And I'll try to take a group picture and throw it up in the, Insta in the Instagram, in the video, so you can see some of these really well. But that's a Moon Bunny. Purchased him, was gifted to him this year by my partner for Valentine's slash birthday. He's got the long soul face up and everything. Everything is default because he's like this big and I wasn't even gonna. Keep coming this way. We have got an Impel Doll Chad. This one's real skin. This is their dark. But um, Impel Doll Chad on an SGB body, which is the same body I think he's on, but the leg mechanism in the hip is slightly different. Don't know why. Could be just age, and they just changed it with Impel Doll. But him I got last year, and sitting in his lap is an Impel Doll Phelan. Not Phelan, that's what I call him. It's a Lucian sculpt on their young body, I do believe. It's the MSD. They've only got one MSD body for the boys and one for the girls, and that's what he is. Got him this year. Sitting on his shoulder is the other promotional face-up option for the Long Soul Zuzu. And I got both of these, I don't know if I said it or not, last year. The very end, we have the only vinyl doll I have so far. 
It's not why he's segregated, and it's not why he's not wearing a shirt. It's just he's not dressed often because he's vinyl. But that is the Dal Granado Udell. I know they've released a couple of different sculpts now, and I really like a Michael, but I really don't know if I want to keep if I want to go down the road of more vinyl. I kind of really prefer resin. But that's the Udell. And as far as floating heads go, just to kind of name them off, I do have a Dal Granado Michael in their normal skin. And then I've also got a Brutus Joanna. I think I said I think I'm saying that right. As well as a Bartholomew II. Uh, second edition from Tiffy, G Tiffy BJD Crafts, which I'll throw her link down below so that if you want to find her Etsy shop that you can because that's where she sells her heads for the moment. Anyways, that's everybody. The floating heads will get bodies, but that's four floating heads, that's four bodies, it's just going to come down the road. Number two, how many doll videos did you upload this year? So I took the question from last year, because I'm lazy, and I subtracted that number by the total number of videos uploaded, and I come, with up, come up with 67. Almost everything has been doll related to a point. To say that they're all BJD videos, not so much. I did quite a bit of American Girl doll, American Girl videos, some Barbie videos, I think, if we get into like unboxings. Like, I'm hiding like right behind his head. He's tall. Um, so there's a mixture of videos. That's, uh, that's the number of videos that I have uploaded this year, which is 67, which is more than last year. New Year's resolution from that last video actually completed? Who knows? What was your first video in 2018 about? So I uploaded two videos basically simultaneously. They're about a day apart, they're in the beginning of January. One is this very type of video, it's the end of the year tag. But as far as not tag videos, I did a box or package opening when Mikey, I think he goes by Mikey's Dolls now, his link will be down in the description box too. Um, he sent me a Christmas gift and I opened it here on the channel. So that was the two videos that I uploaded at the very, very beginning of the year. And this will be my first video of the year for 2019. Again, consistency. How many pictures on any site or medium did you upload or take this year? And that is question number four. You've already seen it, but the questions will flash at the very beginning of the video, which I think is that way, and they'll be down in the description box. But how many pictures did I upload? I don't know exactly what they're wanting. It says take slash upload. I only use Instagram. That has not changed. <coughs> Sorry. I've uploaded a total of 133, which is actually a few less than last year, so New Year's resolution fail. Meh. There's a balance. Show us your first picture of the year, and that will appear there. It is the best nine from 2017. Because I'm not counting the separator image that I threw in, because I was smart last year. Because when I came to this question, I had to dig and dig and dig. So I put a image up that says 2017 into 2018, so I would know exactly what the very first image was. Because I'm not counting the card. Um, in addition to first picture, there's also the last picture of the year which is of my little one, the little reborn, Sullivan. 
and I've got him right here. I'll show you him in a minute. Uh, number six, tell us the best thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. So I would have to say going to the Atlanta BJD retreat and getting to meet all of the people that I've been chatting with and talking to for about two years now and seeing them in person. There's a couple of people that did not go that was going to that I would have really have loved to have met, but there's always this year, there's always the next retreat, but I got to meet so many amazing people. My dog is crying because the door is shut. Tell us the worst thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. I'm gonna sound like a broken record if you watch the last video and this video back to back. I just witnessed so much toxic behavior in the hobby and that's one thing, like, it happens. From what I can understand, it's kind of like this terrible, horrible tradition. And I don't know why, but it, it's apparently a tradition because it's been consistent. It happened last year, it's happening this year, as if this was 2018, you know what I mean. Just witnessing it, and that is what that is. But the biggest part of it is I actually allowed it to affect me in a way that, I almost stopped and when I say stopped I mean I almost left Instagram I'm not gonna say I was gonna get rid of my dolls because that I wouldn't do I got these for me but I almost left Instagram and other forms of social media minus one so I could stay in contact with those people that I have come to know and call friends but just stopping altogether. Like, I would continue to take pictures for myself, and I would continue to do things with the BJDs for myself, but just completely exiting the social platform entirely. That's probably about the worst when it comes to the BJD hobby. Do, 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 do. Number eight, show us your three favorite things that you got this year. Fortunately, they removed the whole for your crew part of that question because <coughs> not everything that I got this year that I'm really glad to have received is for the crew. Some of them, some of them are part of the crew itself, like getting the Impel Doll Chad Dash Bonnie. I'm so glad that I got him. He's, even though he's an identical, obviously the identical sculpt to this one, the resin color is gorgeous. And the doll itself comes from someone that I know, like I've, I've chatted with, those kind of things. And I have known this Impel Doll Chad, by picture alone, of course, for a very long time. And I was looking back, apparently at one point in time I almost bought him, or was having a conversations about buying him, so eventually it did happen anyways. He was probably one of the first Impel Doll Chads that I ever saw that made me decide I want an Impel Doll Chad when it comes time, which resulted in him, because this color wasn't being offered at the time that I bought him. That's number one. Um, number two is probably this little tadpole from Long Soul and the little moon bunny that I got from my partner for birthday slash Christmas. I've really become fond of the tinies, which is within it, which with which is within its own self kind of there's they're separate i almost can't put them with my crew but i can because they're animals but i really adore the tinies as far as dolls go bjd's resin that kind of thing favorite things it would have to probably be the sculpts that i did receive from tiffy and you know harold just because they fit with my crew so well and they're gorgeous they, they were done so very well sorry if I'm repeating myself but 
again, have, have a cold. They're gorgeous, and they fit in with my crew, and I cannot wait to actually get them bodies, even if they have to body share for a little bit, so I can really start kind of inducting them into taking photos with my characters. I know this is kind of like a fourth thing, but I have wanted one of these since I've known about their existence. And he's always right here. His hair. I got my very first Reborn. And I really can't reach over. You're just gonna have to go to my Instagram to see photos. Well, I mean, he's in that last photo of the year. This is Sullivan which is a wear pup. The kit's name is Robbie. He's from this person that makes wear pups, but he was reborn by Tiffy BJD Crafts. <laughs> she did an amazing job. And I had him, if you watch the opening video or a video where I talk about him, I talk about how I got him kind of inspired by my smallest dog, Pirate. But he's still in Christmas clothes from where I took him to my mother's. My mother and aunt even adore him, which is funny. Because my aunt really doesn't like toys or dolls. My mother does. It's, I think it's where I got it from. But this little guy, I love him so dearly. He's even got, I'm gonna show you his diaper cover because I finally don't have a whole bunch of layers on him. But, get the little diaper cover, the squirrels and bunnies and deers on them. I got the diaper cover actually from Libby. And it makes me really want to get into like diaper covers, but I haven't gotten there yet and I haven't really fallen down the reborn hole, so to speak, but I'm pretty close. He's got a little bit, he's got a, you can't see it because Bernard is right in the way. I've got a little baby carriage over here that he sits and sleeps in, so to speak. Here we go, question nine. <coughs> question nine. What is your New Year's resolution? I said it in my last video. I'm gonna say it in this video. I hate New Year's resolutions. I make them, I break them, and I don't do it. So, in place of an actual resolution, I'm gonna go with, what would I like to do differently this year? And, and I kinda said this in my last video, and I did it, but I didn't do it. I just want to, A, upload more videos. And I did that this year. And I wanna continue the trend, maybe even more this year than the difference of last year. So, more than 67 probably 76 and I want to get back into taking photos of my crew and just doing it because I want to do it because I've taken a lot of the deadlines off of myself there for a while I was wanting to do like a photo a week which was leading into me not really wanting to do it at all because all of a sudden it felt like a job not a hobby So just taking more more photos, because I want to take photos of them for the hobby, and uploading more videos. I said in, I think it was the last video that I was going to jump into the BJD Addicts tag set. And there's 48 of them. So after this video goes up, I'm going to do a little introduction into the BJD Addicts Tag videos. 
or you'll be able to see all the questions, but I'm gonna try to do one of those a week. And I'm hoping in between those, other stuff will come up, excuse me, that I'll wanna upload as well. So I'll have a jump on that greater than 67 by just doing the 48. It will kind of give everyone that is following me an opportunity to get to know me, get to know my, my dolls, characters, such on and so forth. That is it at approximately 20-ish minutes. It keeps hiding me. Um, and I also want to do, kind of get back into this, one of the big things that I really want to do is start doing a BJD maintenance playlist where I talk about the different ways that you can, if you want to, tutorial style of maintaining BJDs. And I'm not talking about maintaining them as a fine collector. I'm talking about restringing, cleaning, installing eyes, that kind of thing. Because everyone does it differently. Every single person strings their dolls differently, has found a different way to put in eyes that's more convenient. That kind of thing, maybe I can bring something, you know, to the YouTube community that will help somebody. I do like helping people. That is the end of it. And I think I'm running a fever because it's really hot in here. And that thermometer over there says it's only 65 degrees. I'm going to cut it to an end. I appreciate you watching. I hope you made it through all 20 minutes of me rambling. There'll be some pictures to pop up. There'll be some links down in the, in the box below for you to kind of visit some of the things I talked about. Or you can just see, simply, you know, see what I stuck in the iCard over here by Ralph. Hope everyone has a great rest of the night. And I, I stopped saying it for a little bit and because it's, it felt too in taggy. Just take care of yourself. Enjoy. Have fun. And have a good night. Bye.